Hello, in this video I shall talk about states of equilibrium. Now I want us to note that objects are in equilibrium when the forces acting on that object are such that there is no tendency for the object to move. Now, for objects to be at equilibrium, the forces acting on that object must be balanced. This means that the net force is zero and the acceleration is zero. So objects at equilibrium must have an acceleration of zero meters per second squared. Now, objects at equilibrium must either be one, must either be at rest or staying at rest, or they must be in motion and continuing in motion with the same speed and duration. So these are two conditions for objects at equilibrium. Now, we have three states of equilibrium. We have stable equilibrium, unstable equilibrium, and neutral equilibrium. Now, for stable equilibrium, as you can see from these videos, when force is applied to the object, the object moves away from its original position, and when the applied force is removed, the object returns to its original position. This is called stable equilibrium. Also, I want us to note that for stable equilibrium, the center of gravity is raised. <laughs> Alright. So next, we look at unstable equilibrium. Also, we have a video. As you can see from this video, when an object is disturbed from its original position, it moves away from its original position and does not return. This is an example of a stable equilibrium. The object moves away from its original position when the applied force is removed. Also, as it relates to center of gravity, for unstable equilibrium, the center of gravity is lower. Okay, next we have a neutral equilibrium. Now, if a body remains in its new position when disturbed from its previous position, that body is said to be in a state of neutral equilibrium. Now, as it relates to center of gravity, the center of gravity for a neutral equilibrium remains the same. 